Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see uh, one algorithm to find the minimum cost of spanning tree that is a Kruskal's algorithm. So in the previous sessions, we have seen one algorithm to find the minimum cost pairing tree that is a Prim's algorithm. So before going to that, uh, let me revise the uh, previous concepts that is a, what is a spanning tree. So consider a graph and a spanning tree is a subgraph derived from that particular graph. So with a n vertices and n minus 1 edges, right? And minimum cost spanning tree means the spanning tree with a minimum cost okay every edge will be having a cost so uh, having a minimum cost to construct the tree is called a minimum cost spanning tree so in order to find out this minimum cost spanning tree oh there are two approaches as we have discussed earlier that is a prim's algorithm and kruskal's algorithm so in the previous sessions we have seen the prim's algorithm now we'll see the kruskal's algorithm so here the step one the first step First step means here arrange all the edges, all the edges in ascending order, ascending order based on ascending order based on cost. So every edge will be having their own cost. So we need to first uh, arrange all the edges in ascending order based upon the cost. Right? Ascending order means lower value to the higher value. So we need to find the minimum cost spanning tree. So that's why we are using this ascending order. And then step two, step two, consider, consider least cost weighted edge weighted edge and include in the tree include it in tree so consider one by one and just include that in a tree and if if the edge forms a cycle forms a cycle just ignore and consider consider next least cost weighted edge least cost weighted edge so every time we'll consider an edge and we have to include that on a tree. So if, if by adding that edge, if, if uh, it forms any cycle, so just we have to ignore that edge and consider the next least cost weighted edge because a tree should not have the cycles, right? So graph can have the cycles, but the tree should not have the cycles. So here we are using this Kruskal's algorithm to find the minimum cost spanning tree right and the third step third step repeat step two until all the vertices all the vertices are included in a tree included in tree so we know the spanning tree right so if the tree is having, if the graph is having some n vertices, then the spanning tree should have the n vertices with n minus 1 edges, right? So similarly, we have to repeat the step 2 until all the vertices are included in a tree. So by following these steps, we can find the minimum cost spanning tree by using this Kruskal's algorithm, right? So hope you understood this one and now We'll see an example and we'll find the minimum cost spanning tree. So let us consider this example and this is a graph and we need to find the minimum cost spanning tree. So what is the first step? 
we have to arrange all the edges in an ascending order based upon their cost. So here the first, the least cost among these things are 2. So first let me write all the edges with a 2. So here you can see A to B. A to B is a 2 with a cost 2. So this is a bidirectional because this is this is a bidirectional. We can simply consider A to B or B to A. Next, there is a one more thing that is a 2. D to E. Again it is a 2. Next, 3. So we are having A to C. A to C with a 3. And one more, B to D. B to D with the cost 3. And D to F. D to F with the cost 3. Then what about next one? It's a 4. So 4, B to E. B to E with a 4. And C to E with a 4. Next one is a 5. So B to C, 5 and E to F is 5. So you can observe these are the edges arranged in an ascending order because you can observe the cost. So from lower to higher. Now what is the first step? Consider each and every least costed edge and include it in tree. So first consider A to B. So I will construct the tree here. So A b with a cost 2 next d to e so d to e so d to e so here it is a d e so what is this one d to e again 2 next a to c 3 a to c there is no c so we have to add it a to c 3 Next, B to D. B to D. So, it doesn't form a cycle, right? B to D. So, just include that one. B to D. Again, it is 3. Next, D to F. So, there is no cycle. So, I will construct here F. B to e. D to F, it is 3. Right? Next, B to E. So, if you, if you give the edge here, B to E, it forms a cycle, right? It forms a cycle. So, we should not consider this one. So, this should be rejected. C to E. C to E. Again, if you form an edge, if you give an edge, again it forms a cycle, right? A, B, D, E, C, A. So, we have to reject that. B to C. B to C. Again, if you form an edge, so it forms a cycle. So, we have to reject. E to F. E to F. If you consider the edge here, Again, it forms a cycle. So, you have to reject. So, you can see, in our graph, there are six vertices. Six vertices. And our spanning tree consists of six vertices. Six vertices. Right? And here, the edges. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Okay? So, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9 edges. So there are 9 edges. You can observe here 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 5 edges. Which is nothing but vertices vertices minus 1. Right? If there are n vertices, there should be n minus 1 edges. So it satisfies. Now you can observe all the vertices are covered. So we can consider this as a minimum cost spanning tree which can be represented as MST. Minimum cost spanning tree. So now what is the cost here? Consider uh, cost here. So cost of this one will be 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2. So the cost will be 5, 8, 11 and 13. So cost is 13. So the minimum cost we can create or construct the spanning tree is with 13. So you, you just remember, uh, this is the same example we have taken in the Prim's algorithm also. So there also we have constructed the minimum cost spanning tree with a cost of 13. So once, uh, uh, just observe the session. So I will post the link in the description. So you can follow that one. 
so that is the procedure of prims and this is the procedure we need to follow for the crystals so this procedure is crystals algorithm right so first we have to arrange all the edges in an ascending order based upon their cost and then consider each and every edge and construct a tree and if by by adding the edge to the tree if it forms a cycle just ignore that and consider the next least cost uh, edge right so we have to repeat that one until all the vertices are covered so here there are six vertices all the six vertices have been covered with a cost of 13 right so hope you understood this one so this is a crystal algorithm to find the minimum cost spanning tree right so if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubts in the comment section definitely i will try to clarify all your doubts and if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much